MSB here, and welcome to part 2 of the Paladin Budget Deck Breakdown. So today we're going to be taking a look at a few more of the nuances of how to use this Budget Paladin deck well in order to overcome uh, people with better card quality and to finish off your dailies. So let's get started. Okay, so with the Budget Paladin deck, uh, generally what you want to try and do is maintain some sort of board presence uh, with your 1-1s and your 2-2s. Uh, wait until about mid-game, around turn 5, 6, 7, uh, when they sort of commit to a large board presence, or a very strong board presence, and then either um, quality, and use your troops to wipe them out, or a quality to consecrate. And then start throwing out your big troops, Blessing of Kings, uh, Guardians of Kings, um, Truce of Champions, like throw out everything and, and uh, start really taking control of the match. This is actually pretty solid. Yeah, I'll keep him. Fairy Dragon is a nightmare uh, against uh, most of the cards. Obviously, if he drops a first turn um, Fire Imp, then he won't really care. He'll be like, okay, Fairy Dragon, I don't care. Okay. Let's say hi. Well met. I greet you. Uh, if he throws out a first turn Fire Imp, I may Blessing of Wisdom it. I'll yep, I'll Blessing of Wisdom it. Ah, or I'll noble, noble Sacrifice it. Um, see, at this point, the concern is that he has a Demon Fire. Um, so I will Noble Sacrifice, and I'll make him play out that, um, that Demon Fire. I mean, he'll be happy to, but perfect. Yep, happy to trade that off. And what's your turn to? It's time for a little blow. Not bad. Okay. So, now I will Fairy Dragon. And uh, I don't want to use either of my Blessing of Wisdoms right now. You, you really want to have something on the board that, that will actually attack. Uh, if he trades these off, it's fine. We must if he doesn't, it's fine well. too. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, so um, now what I'm going to do is um, Raging Morgan, and uh, I will gain a card. He'll... I don't think he'll attack me with it. I think he'll trade off against my Raging Morgan. Uh, but since I've got a second Blessing of Wisdom in my hand... Okay. Yep, and a Joe and Yeti. Okay. And a coin and two. Voodoo Doctor, power overwhelming! <laughs> and I take ten. But I draw a card! Yeah, this is uh, not a good way to start. But we'll see what we can do. Here's what we're gonna do we Shattered Sun Cleric. I don't have enough and, um, yeah, we'll go from there. I'm I'm pretty sure he'll um, shadow bolt. He's got a lot of options. Shadow bolt, demon fire. Um, he could even well now he can't, but he could even hellfire and it'd be fine. Yep, shadow bolt. Yep, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with him slowly whittling himself away because um, I can do stuff like this. Yep, he'll probably cast, you know, Mortal Coil or something to break the shield, but then if he trades off his, um, his Yeti for it, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Fine with this? Um, exactly. Because we'll just kill that off. And Blessing of Wisdom. And give this dude Divine Shield. And keep it going. If he doesn't silence him, I might even Blessing of Kings him, you know? If we're, if we're gonna go for it, let's go for it. Let's go. Ah. And if he uses two cards to kill this, that's a perfectly good Your trade for me. Shall not ah. save you. That's fine. Yep. Okay. Oh, great. Sounds great. Uh, yes, so we are going to... Two Silver Champion... 
kill this guy off, and we're gonna we're gonna pressure him so he stops drawing cards. Because that's one of the things you really need to stop a warlock from doing is drawing cards. Because if they just keep using their hero power with impunity, uh, it gets really dangerous really fast. So you want to make sure that you're that you're pressuring as soon as you can without you know overcommitting per se. It's fine. And now it's six. I have no time for games. <laughs> Sylvanas. That's a good one. Okay. This is my responsibility. This is my responsibility. So what do we want to do here? Sylvanas Windrunner, huh? Um You know what? I'm I'm right at the end. Justice. Already attacked. Um, so I'm fine with him trading this off um, and then him having a 50 50 on what he pulls. Uh, because all I have to do is pull my second true silver champion and uh, and then it'd be gone. Uh, th then the match is over because I just consecrate to true silver champion. Yeah, because he'll have he'll, he'll end up having um, sorry, it'll be a one in three chance unless he, he so kills something off. Which is fine. I mean, if he ends up with this. I'm okay with that. I've got plenty of life. Um, I'm just trying to pressure here. If he leaves anything on the board, then I could pull a Blessing of Kings and Consecrate and win. I could pull a Truce of a Champion and win. Depending on what he leaves, I could pull a Hammer of Wrath and win. Um, so it's just more about getting as much out as I possibly can. Especially with my life lead. You know, I can, I can afford for him to make some risky plays and uh, and still come out on top. Okay. Yep. So now true silver champion and I win. Put this apple on your head. We must cleanse the sun well. Yep. Quality would be great. I got lots of cards here. Two silver champion to win. Well, yeah, I had lots, lots, and lots, and lots, and lots of outs. So, for justice. so I wasn't, I wasn't concerned. Uh, especially when someone is playing rares and legendaries, you, you can't, you, you can't make um, sort of s slow plays because if, if the match keeps going, let's say I didn't, let's say I, I worked around Sylvanas and tried to create an empty board state where I killed Sylvanas off with nothing else on my board, and then managed to play something. Um, even in those instances, it would have taken me a turn or two to, to, to organize that. And by that time, when he's playing Argent Crusaders, Sylvanas's, I mean, who knows if he had Jaraxxus in hand? Uh, you, you, you never know, or, or could just pull it. You know, you could top deck Jaraxxus at six health, and then what am I going to do? Nothing. This is a budget deck. So you, you've got to still play aggressively, and, and rely on favorable situations where you've got lots of outs to win. Uh, because otherwise, if you just keep trying to push it to end game and, and, and you know, keep making slow plays and slow plays and slow plays, their, their card advantage, the, the, the card quality advantage, is, is going to eventually overwhelm you. Um, so making, it, making aggressive plays like that that make him sort of give up his board state, having a lot of outs, either, you know, that turn or the following turn, as long as he didn't pull your axis, um, is just a much better attitude to have when you're playing a budget deck. Your true silver champion, your hampers of wrath, and your um, justice demands retribution. Your hammers of wrath and uh, your blessing of kings to uh, to finish off opponents. Uh, it's way too early for an equality, so kick that back. I love fairy dragon, to argent protector, six wampus is a great card to have in hand. Um, so I'll definitely coin to uh, fairy dragon. Well Greetings. Met. Yep. Well met. I don't have enough mana. I don't. No, we do. Okay, and fairy dragon on there. Um, I'll gladly kill off one of his um, one of his silver hand recruits if that's all he does. Yep. Happy to. Uh, because then I'll just give him a shield. So. And this is sort of the perfect example of where um, turn three, I'll Raging Worgen, and then I'm going to have a lot of good threats on the field. 
Um, and then Blessing of Kings comes out. <laughs> it's time for okay. a blood. That's fine. I don't mind trading off my guy to, to kill it. Yep, so we will raid Morgan, strike in and die, and strike in and lose my shield. Yep, so if he consecrates here, I don't care. I'm like, yes, please, consecrate. Ooh, see, now he's opened himself up. Uh, because I'm going to get a big, big uh, pit point of damage for this. Boom. Now I'm at eight. Three. It's so good. Uh, Raging Worgen to Blessing of Kings. Unbelievable. No, Hammer of Wrath, obviously. Like okay, now he's out of Hammer of Wrath, so he's taken 16, 19. This is, this like is lethal. Invention. This is lethal. Lethal. Well played. Yep. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Uh, it's such a good combo. Yeah. So, obviously, um, well, not the primary focus of the deck, because normally with this, um, you're looking to win uh, late game. Uh, you're, you're mostly looking to just sort of stabilize a board position, but when an opportunity presents itself like that, where you've been able to maintain pressure, and then get a worgen out, and then Blessing of Kings it, strike and kill something, and then, and then you're just doing crazy damage if they don't finish it off in one round. I mean, 8, and then 16 the following round. So they'll take 24 damage in two turns, on turn 4 and then 5. Crazy alternate sort of um, win condition for this deck, which... Sometimes happens, sometimes not, but when it does, whew, deadly. So the Paladin deck is meant to use Divine Shields, um, Noble Sacrifices, uh, Hammer of Wrath, and uh, Consecrates to make some very favorable trades, um, and then just eventually overwhelm them with a, a very superior force. Okay. Um, I do like the Raging Worgen and Blessing of Kings here, uh, but I don't like the Argent Protector in my opening hand. There's nothing that you really want to um, get first thing. And um, while this is good, a good combo, Raging Worgen and Blessing of Kings, uh, the True Silver Champion of the Raging Worgen are good for your three and four drops. Okay, perfect. Fairy Dragon. Uh, equality is late game. Yeah, you don't want to play that um, right off the bat. You want to make sure that you get a, a really solid kill across the board of, of lots of the opponent's troops. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and hang on to our coin. See what he has to play. Uh, because I may need to, um, on at three, coin to true silver champion. Uh, so I'll, I'll start here. Depends on, on how hard he, um, how hard he, he rushes with, uh, with like powered shields. Uh, you may need to get something very early. And now we can have a 4-3 um, Fairy Dragon, which is extraordinarily powerful. Okay. Uh, so here's a, a perfect example. Uh, now I'm going to coin to True Silver Champion. And then we'll be a little bit off curve, but, uh, but still not too bad. What are you waiting for? Come on, buddy. And turn. You got zero. We're gonna do silence. Can't target it. Okay, so I would love, 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 Justice. Um, to be able to blessing of wisdom this, but obviously you can't target it. So, but well, uh, here he could um, swamp ooze. If he swamp ooze, that'd be a good play. Um, Pass me that arc light not bad at all. Do not mind. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to we buff up, the sun well. and we're not going to take justice. any damage. I'm just going to kill this off and swipe in, uh, because I don't want him to beef that up anymore. And now we've got our fairy dragon as being immune to holy nova. Chillin' Yeti. With power shield. Okay, perfect. So, uh, so at this point, we don't want to lose our fairy dragon because it's causing a lot of problems. Um, but at the same time, gosh, um, I'd hate to lose this as well. 
Um, I could. No, we're just gonna we're just gonna trade it off. It'll be fine. Um, we don't need the card draw just yet, and we want to still uh, pressure this guy's health. Obviously, we've got uh, the ultimate combo, equality to consecration, which is ridiculously good. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'll consecrate and kill him off. I don't mind taking the damage, to be honest. Yep, consecrate. Uh, we will uh, throw up another um, troop, because we need to start getting some, some more troops out. I, I, yeah, Noble Sacrifice is good, especially if he plays an Argent Crusader now. Uh, he could rush and kill, which would stink, but... Your magic shall not okay, save that's fine. I'm 3-2 now. Oh, double card? Perfect. I love him double carding that. That's fantastic. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to Raging Morgan. And, um... And then we're going to Noble Sacrifice. And um, then we're going to... Let's Raging Morgan again. And we'll just swing in for the one. Let's get him a bit concerned. Okay, that's fine. I can always just trade off one of my uh, Raging Worgen to win. Obviously what I'm hoping to do now is pull a um, Blessing of Kings. That would be amazing right now. Okay, there's the other Shadow Lord Pain. Gonna heal him up, or heal yourself. <laughs> what do you do? What are you gonna do? I don't know! <laughs> I love the indecision. It's classic. Okay, cool. Another, another uh, noble sacrifice. That's great. He's used both of his. Um, he's used both of his shadowed pain, so I'm safe to. Um, I'm safe to throw that out. Uh, I I do not want to acidic swamp ooze right now because he's still got uh, divine. Uh, sorry, he's still got holy nova. Um, so if I threw that out, that's just a no brainer for him to holy nova because it heals his guy too. So. Behold the might of Storm! Whatever. It's fine. Hmm. Whoa! Get down! Get down! <laughs> Classic. Tonk! <laughs> now are you gonna heal? Who are you gonna heal? Drink with me, friend. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So now here's my big guns. Um, I could equality. Uh, that of course makes him uh, relatively useless. Um, but at the same time, I'm I'm not going to be doing anything else, um, and and his guys are just too big right now. Um, so I will equality. The battle. Kill him off. The battle. Kill him off. Um, now, here's what could happen. If I play out a Guardian of Kings, he is likely going to mind control it. So. Perfect. Okay. So now we are going to uh, bubble him up. And pull that out. Now, he could still mind control it, uh, but I would not care him mind controlling that. I'd be like, yes, please, wa waste your eight resources. Perfect. Exactly what I want him to do, because now he's a 3-3 again. Thank you very much. <laughs> yep. There you go. It's a trap! Tuzdingo. Ah, Tuzdingo. Yes. I love you. Okay. So now we're, um... We're a little bit behind. So let's see what we get. Okay. Excellent. Three, four, five, six. So we are just going to... Pack in. Uh, four, two, one. Um, and then what we will do is we will Guardian of Kings. And swing in. 
Uh, if he Holy Nova's that he can't mind control. Shadow of Death. Okay, so now he could Holy Nova. That would be a great play. That would be a great play right now. And then Holy Nova. Oof, that would be dangerous. Oh, and that's fine. Okay. Okay. And Joe and Yeti. Okay. I'm fine with that. So let's see what we get here. Okay. Um, so nothing, unfortunately, too fantastic or spe spectacular. Um, I do have to attack in here. Um, and then, gosh, not too much good. Uh, obviously, what I was really hoping for was a uh, Hammer of Wrath. Hammer of Wrath would have won the game for me. Uh, right now, he should Holy Nova, and um, I, he'll likely be out of reach if he does. We must cleanse the Sunwell. Okay. In the light's name. Okay. Yep. He's got to heal himself. So now, again, whole, uh, Hammer of Wrath wins, and Divine Shield ain't it. The light protects me. Right now, I've just got to throw everything at him. Keep him down to two. Um, hopefully, just keep one troop on the board. You know, again, if he, you know, as soon as he top decks Holy Nova, then that's when we're in big trouble. Behold the might of storm wind. Okay. Still good. And you know, obviously. With a with a budget deck, you're always sort of in trouble of um, of losing, you know, because obviously the the guy will have better cards. Um, but but especially in this sort of match, um, there are already there have already been a lot of cards that that I could have won with. Okay, here we go, Hammer Breath, Blessing of Kings, good enough, well, well played. played, perfect. And, in. and that's the whole point. Uh, you, you don't want to use up your Blessing of Kings early uh, because it's a late game finisher. Uh, or especially like on, uh, you know, all of those guys. When, you, when you've got someone who has, who's Divine Shielded or like a, a Worgen who's got a Blessing of Kings and a Divine Shield, I mean, you're just... It's disheartening unless the, the opponent has a lot of, you know, instant kill cards. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, there you go. Pretty good. Outlasting the priest. So that rounds out the strategic elements of how to use this budget paladin deck well. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please take the time to subscribe. And, as always, I'm MSB, wishing you good games and good times.